Hello CISD. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce the Instructional Framework, an important document for our curriculum team, administrators, and teachers. As we work together as a district to narrow the focus and have an impact on improving student achievement, we seek clear, concise expectations and resources to implement actions that have a positive impact on student achievement. The CISD framework builds the bridge between curriculum and instruction by providing a common language for initiatives, strategies, resources, and expectations. Our curriculum team, administrators and teachers, can focus on quality instruction for students using the same knowledge and expectations across the district. This document provides four quadrants that clearly state what good instruction, positive environment, strategic data and evaluation, and quality of curriculum look like. And now, Lindy Connor will discuss what an instructional framework is. An instructional framework is an underlying structure that connects all of our collective investments to create organization. In short, it's a collective vision of good teaching. An instructional framework is designed to create a common location for all of the things we're supposed to be doing in class and creates a consistency and certainty of whether or not we're doing it. This first section we'll cover in our framework is instruction with Katie Cunningham. The instructional quadrant of the framework is built on research of effective instruction. The identified strategies should be utilized in the classroom in order to increase student achievement. The framework gives teachers the tools and structure to plan and deliver instruction. This ensures all students are learning at high levels with the support they need to demonstrate learning at the level expected by the standards. Now, Dr. Andrea Hensley will explain the environment portion of the instructional framework. Environment covers the classroom culture. While everyone's classroom will look a little different, we expect that every classroom will be a safe place for students to learn. Teachers will build relationships with students and give them opportunities to discover their strengths through collaboration, critical thinking, and inquiry. Classrooms will be places where students use technology to master concepts and are surrounded by academic vocabulary across disciplines. Next, Dr. Chris Jackson will share the data and evaluation portion of the framework. The instructional framework relies on data by providing actionable information to inform teaching and learning. To improve student achievement, we must have timely data from assessments, progress monitoring tools, and informal checks for understanding in the classroom. Data-driven instruction informs our practice on two levels, adjusting instructional practice in the classroom and allowing students to track their own learning. And now Ginger Tannum, math coordinator for CISD, will discuss the curriculum components of the instructional framework. Curriculum includes following a well-designed roadmap and using the correct tools to deliver engaging lessons that are tightly aligned to state standards. CISD district curriculum alignment teams and textbook committees have developed documents and reviewed and adopted aligned resources to help guide in this process. Teachers should first seek guidance from these when determining scope and sequences of instruction. After a Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills Standard is selected for instruction, Teachers should include deeply analyzing or unpacking the standard for instructional clarity and student expected outcomes, as well as selecting appropriate English language proficiency standards to pair with the lesson activities. Finally, teachers should access the CISD Lesson Planning Toolkit found on the CNI webpage for guidance in the design and delivery of completing a fully developed lesson to include all required components of the CISD Lesson Plan Guide. Next up is Bill Allen with Data-Driven PLCs. At the heart of the framework is the Data-Driven PLC, the ongoing process in which educators work collaboratively in recurring cycles of collective inquiry and action research to achieve better results for the students they serve. PLCs operate under the assumption that the key to improve learning for students is the continuous job-embedded learning for educators. Data-driven PLCs are guided by four questions. What do we want students to learn? How will we know if our students have learned it? What will we do for our students who did not learn it? And what will we do for our students who already know it? Next, Belin Morgan will highlight the importance of professional learning. 
In order for educators and students to see growth, it is important to provide high quality, culturally relevant, standards-driven coaching and learning. Whether it is side-by-side -side coaching, whole group learning, or job embedded, effective professional coaching and learning should be planned, implemented, and monitored from year to year. This type of learning provides educators with the knowledge and skills they need to support successful job performance, which in turn will promote student growth and increased achievement. Professional learning and growth is an essential part of the instructional framework because while it supports building the bridge between curriculum instruction, it also supports crossing the bridge to a common language for initiatives, strategies, resources, and expectations across the district. Next, Christy Burton will share about instructional framework tools. Finally, we have included all CISD tools and resources on the back of our instructional framework to assist you in your planning, implementation, and professional development goals. It is possible to fulfill the expectations of each quadrant in various ways. For example, some sheltered instruction strategies will also enhance support for AVID initiatives. This document also allows our curriculum and instruction team, as well as campus specialists, to know how to support you, clarify areas of professional development, and to grow your toolbox within the instructional framework. You can easily access this framework by logging on to the CISD website and navigating to the curriculum page. In closing, I'd like to thank the curriculum and instruction team, Dr. Jackson, and Mr. Borden for all their hard work and time spent developing the instructional framework. I'm thankful to work in a district where teachers, administrators, and team members put children first. As we work hard to narrow the focus, more so this year than ever before, I challenge you to be that person who makes the difference in the life of a child. <laughs>